Pruning roses can be quite intimidating for many amateur gardeners. After all, we just wouldn't want to ruin such a pretty owl with sharp thorns. Ow! Sharp plants! <laughs> so we've got Jeff Jones in to give us some advice. Jeff is one of the gardening experts at Auckland Botanic Gardens. Thank you so much for joining us, Jeff. Good morning, Mel. Firstly, tell me, why do we need to be pruning our roses? Okay, well, for roses, you need to maintain their vigour, their shape, and, of course, pest and disease resistance and... You know, we all love the roses flower, so let's try and get the best out of them with some good pruning. Yeah, because they look great at the time when, when they're all in bloom. They're absolutely. absolutely magnificent, but you've got to put the hard graft in now absolutely. and do the pruning. So you've, you've brought a rose in, obviously. I have. And all the things. So why don't you talk us through what you're doing? All right. Well, first of all, you need to know when to prune. So right now is good, sort of end of June up to um, early July. If you're further down south, you can wait a little bit till the frosts have gone. Okay. So with rose pruning, try and know your rose first. Is it a tall bush rose? Is it a carpet rose? Um, if you don't know, I'll teach you a few tips to kind of get the general pruning done. But first of all, with rose pruning, it's all about you. So Ooh, okay. it is. You want to protect yourself. So some things you might want to consider are like some safety glasses if you're like working with big long stems that you might you whack around. You don't want a thorn in the face. You don't want a thorn in your Got face. It. So the thick gloves, okay. Yes, thick leather gloves are really good so you don't scratch up your hands. Mm -hmm. And then, where to start? Does everybody need one of these? Because look at it. <laughs> it's like a giant sized yes. pocket knife. That's for top level pruning. So <laughs> put, put down the knife. Okay, I've got down you. Down the knife. Great, I'm not great with sharp objects. <laughs> okay, so, so what yeah. do we do? Where do we start? Okay, so once you've protected yourself, get some good, clean secateurs. Why do they need to be clean? So they reduce um, pest and disease going into the plant. And um, sometimes when you dig around in the soil, you might transfer something to another rose. Okay, because so you're yeah. making a cut, aren't you? You are you're, making a cut. Who you do you want call a good, a rose? clean cut. All right, so where to start? Okay, first thing, 3D. 3D stands for looking for uh, dead, diseased, or damaged bits. Okay. Take care of them first, okay? So, for example, right here, we've got a dead part. So I'll just get the secateurs in there, cut back to the base. Off. Right. I should be wearing my gloves, sorry. I'll just slip them on. Where's safety first, Safety yeah, first, safety I first. know. Practice what you preach, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so how long right. have you been at the um, Botanic Gardens for? I have been there for six years. Oh, nice. Right, so you've cut that bit. So okay. that was a bit of dead. Yep. Um, diseased, this is a good example here. This is cicada damage. So that's just going to kill that stem and die back. Okay. So anything like chop this, off. chop it off. Got it. Right, so yeah, dead, diseased, damage. That's anything that's snapped or wind damage or anything like that. And then we go from there to cutting off anything in the middle of the plant. Ultimately, you want a vase or cup-shaped rose. Okay. So here's the before, and over here is what you're aiming for. Doesn't look like much. Looks like you killed it. Looks <laughs> like you killed it. But come summer, it'll do this again. This is what so you it's want. it's amazing. That's how amazing roses are. OK, now tell me about the angles. So why do, I've often seen my nanny used to do that, but I yes. don't know why. Yes. OK, so let's have a look on this. When you want to get your vase shape going, you need to look for an outward facing bud. So choosing a nice healthy stem, you can kind of look up and down and find where a budge emerges on the outside. Okay. Or, or will grow out. Now, cutting on a slant away from the bud, try and aim for about oh, half a centimetre above the bud. Why do this? Okay, if the rain hits, it'll slope away from the bud. Oh my goodness, also, I had no idea. Yeah, yeah. And also, um, if you cut too high, that bit will die back and away goes your new bud. Nana didn't know what she was talking she about. She did. Okay, Nana's well, often no best. I do need to know also, um, is yes. it possible to kill a rose by over pruning? Just asking for a friend. Ooh, okay, yes. <laughs> Definitely for a Always friend. Always asking for a friend, yes. right? Generally, no. Roses are tough, great performers. However, if you've got a poor, weak specimen to start off with and you prune them badly over successive years, you can really weaken them. Great. So we want to go from this and we want to end with this. Thank you Correct. so much, Jeff. That has been wonderful. Some great tips with our rose pruning. There's so much more involved than what I anticipated.